Hello and welcome back. This is Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Join us as we continue our investigation of the movie skate rooms. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. I counted out for five seconds and that machine, that REM pod went up, off. Hi, who are you? This is very haunted. House of a ceiling. No way. Freaking hell. I've asked for that. On this episode, I have brought you to an unusual location where you get to star in your own horror movie. This is Movie Escape Rooms in Stockport. Let's take a look at what happened last time on Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Okay, there's so much going on right now, I can't keep up with it. I've got the rem over there that's going off, the rem over there that keeps beeping. That's just said white, and this is supposed to be like a, a white surgical room. Well, let's stop now. Don't know. No way. I heard that in here. That was a weird, weird noise in here. That was like a... a row in here. That's just gone up to six, six, six. Shine a light. What's in here with me? Starting to get a very bad feeling about this. Watch. Sean leaves. Cue the meters. Ready? Sean goes out of the room. Meters not gone off. Let's hear from our psychic medium in Oklahoma, Para, to find out what she senses could be haunting movie escape rooms. Hey, it's Para, and uh, Sean sent me more photographs from the movie Scape, which is in a mill located in Starport. He did send me a tad bit of information about some of the items located in this place, but I didn't read it. I just skipped on to the photographs. Um, the first item is a picture of a Bible. Um, this Bible uh, holds its own space. It is its own thing. It has very dark negative energy surrounding it and that's not something I expected from a Bible. It's just not something I expected. Um, I quickly scrolled through the rest of it just to see what else I picked up real quickly before I read the information. Um, the other thing that I picked up was uh, there is a like it looks like a radio, old fashioned radio to me. And it holds its own space too. Has a very negative dark energy surrounding it. Um, the one last object that I sensed had something attached to it is a wooden chair. Um, when I first saw this chair, I actually believed that somebody in the picture was sitting in it. You could feel the energy of somebody sitting in it. Um, when I scrolled back up and actually read the information, I, I about died. Um, the Bible is the original from the Animeville haunting, and the music player, is what Sean called it, is from the Inville haunting. I know both of these stories. I know of the, I know of the psychic medium that worked with these stories, and she's one of my heroes. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to have these items in this location altogether. Uh, it's a recipe for disaster. Um, if a portal, th there's like enough energy between these items themselves that it could open a one-way portal for spirits to just flood in. Now, the other things that I've picked up in this location is that these items have stirred two ghosts so far uh, from this location. One is a very angry and aggressive spirit. Um, in fact, every time I tried to do a reading or tried to look inside and see what was going on, he was screaming at me. He just, you could see his face, he had wrinkles around his mouth and he was just screaming at me to get out. The other spirit that I picked up is a very sad and 
hurt spirit. He uh, like lost his arm. He lost his left arm and it's just gone. It's like this bleeding mass and he just wanders around trying to find help but nobody's there to help him. In one of the actual photographs that's there, I don't know if it's just me, but I actually see a spirit. I, I It's probably just me and probably nobody else can see it, but he's actually standing in the photograph. Every time I look at the photograph, he is standing there. And it's a, sorry, I got my phone here. It's a picture of a fireplace and there's like a red curtain hanging on the wall and there's like a little red couch and he is standing right behind the red couch. Uh, I can't get any other information from him, but he is just standing there and he's staring at you. Um, I do know that the second floor is the where most of the spirit activity is at. It's That's where it's at. <laughs> In this location, you probably catch EVPs. I wouldn't be surprised if their full-bodied apparitions showed up, um, screaming. I could hear it all. It's it, this. These items being in this location is going to bring out more spirits. Um, it is my recommendation that either two of the items are removed, um, at least at least two of the items are removed because there's just way too much energy in this location. My guides instructed me that if these items were to stay here, that they would draw um, a ghost or spirit of what they call is a portal guardian. And these portal guardians, that's all they do is open portals with energies that are in the right place at the right time, I guess you could say. And it'll open a one-way portal for anything and everything to flood through. Um, good luck with the movie scape, and I hope everything goes well. Well, so far, I can't believe the activity here. I know I say that, and we say it in a lot of investigations, but wow! Yeah. You know, this is a haunted uh, mill. It's not just that, it's a haunted attraction. Yeah. Not only do you come here and experience what's been set up for you to experience mm -hmm. it, but you come here and it's paranormal activity. Yeah. The meters are all going mad. Yeah, I think um, looking at how it's, it's set up and what we've experienced, we've probably had the same level of um, activity so far that they, the people that pay to come here for the setup have. Yep. You know, it, it's been it's been off the meter. It's been amazing. It's been weird. And so far, I'm enjoying what's happening. Yeah. And I can't wait to see what else happens yeah. tonight because I feel like it's just starting to yeah. get, you know, activity. Yeah. It, it, it's slow to build, but I think um, because this mill hasn't been investigated on a paranormal level before, yeah. spirits aren't too sure how to take us. So they're, they're kind of hanging back, you know, giving us little bits and pieces. The more a place gets investigated, the more they know how to, to interact with us. So we're getting it, and yep. it's getting better because I think their confidence is probably building a little bit. They know we're not here as a threat. Yep. So, you know, as the night progresses... What else is going to happen? Oh, I think a lot more, though, judging by what we've had so far. Well, you know what, Paul? Let's go off and investigate more mm -hmm. and see what else will happen on our investigation. Yeah, I like that idea. Come on, let's go. Okay, so I'm coming into the saw room, um, the second room in here. I've put a REM pod, I'm going to have to just go straight to it to be honest. I've put a REM pod over here um, by the sink and as you can see it's going off. Now I'm going to reset that in the hope that it stays off. Um, on the wheelchair in here, which is another item that's been brought in, I've got another REM pod just on there. Uh, if anything comes near that, Again, that'll go off. That over there is still beeping. I'm going to put this. Um, do you know what? That could be paranormal. It may not be, but I'm going to put it there so I can see it if it goes off. Um, this room, as you can see, fantastic. I have another fantastic room here, and you know what? I don't know if I could survive the, the, the fear in this room, let alone the room that I've just been in before, and, you know, 
it is one creepy plate. And I was at the back. I was sure that was on that door there. And just have a look. So this door's locked. It's part of the attraction. I'm not gonna. Oh shit, a brick man. See now? I'm not gonna spoil what happens by venturing in there. But that, that just went off then. And then it was a rattle. So this is an area that's uh, at the moment. It's uh, under under. This is an area that's under development at the moment. And they're building different sets and expanding the uh, movie escapes experience. I've got a rem just over there, and there's a rem there. And I've got the SLS camera. Just gonna have a little wander around and see if there's anybody here. Is there anybody here with me? Can you come and let me know? Make a noise. Show yourself to me. It's a lot colder in this area. Just gonna pan around a little bit. Okay. If you're here now, and you, you're here, maybe bang on one of these. This is uh, like a, a locker. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Why the hell? Can you, can you turn that off? Let's do a countdown in five, four, three, two, one. No way. No way. I counted out for five seconds and that machine, that REM pod went off. Thank you. Obviously we're here with a spiritual presence and an entity that is able to manipulate these REM pods. Can you, if you can manipulate a REM pod, can you maybe bang on that door over there for me? Push the, push the wheelchair. Push the wheelchair or bang on the door. Play a video on the television. There's a TV screen in here. Maybe you can set, put a video on there for me. It's warm in here. Is anyone with me? I know you, you set that machine off for a second ago. Are you here now? Thank you. Thank you. Am I dealing with... Thank you. Thank you so much. Turn it off. Thanks. Are you a male? Set that off if you're a male. Are you a female? Are you a demonic person? No. A demon. I could be dealing with a demon here. Thank you. Are, you. are you able to throw objects? Have you got a cane with one of these items here? Can you set this one off? On the chair? Walk towards me and set this, this REM pod off on the chair. If you can set that off by the sink, which is not a real sink, come and set this one off on the chair. If you're a demon, you should be able to do that. There was definitely a noise then, at, at the back here. Push this door, and this door is locked. Look, push the door. What the fuck was that? That was like, the, it's like a pipe up there. Look. It was a pipe, that pipe, I think it's a pipe. I'm going to push this door. And the pipe moved. Just for a second, I thought I saw something. Oh, hello. Hi, who are you?
Can you come down from off there? My name's Paul, what's yours? Doing a little jig. Just heard a noise. Yeah, it's gone. Let's see if we can move around to where it was a little bit better. all sorts of obstacles here. I've got myself impaled on something there. And it's gone weird. Jesus! That was inside this toilet. Let me show you, there's nothing in there. It's locked. Yeah? Whoa, thank you. Look. What was that? Can you do it again? If I come towards that door, can you do something again? Pointing the camera down that way for a, a reason, I thought uh, I thought I heard something down there, and then I heard the bump. Oh, and again. Okay, we need to go forward. We need to have a look. Nothing on the SLS so far. You see. There's noises again. Yeah, there shouldn't be anybody else here at this time. So I don't know what that noise is. And you know, I don't want to find out right now. I'm going to go this way again. Just for a minute. Just to try and compose myself. Tell you what, there's some weird stuff going on here. And as you investigate even more, it gets weirder. Fuck me, did you hear that? That was on the ceiling. That right? Came across the ceiling like footsteps. Yeah, I heard that. Fucking And that, and that's gone off. Thank you. And again, look, 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 look. The re REM's going off and following the noises. So I, I'm, I'm presuming it, it's this demonic entity is running across the ceiling. Maybe it's running around this room. And it's why now it feels cold in here. And it feels cold. And it's stopped. And I don't know where to look because I'm looking for anything that could be paranormal. I heard some bangs or knocks before. I'm hearing some noises. that you don't know. I know when you're in a place that you don't know and there are noises that sound a bit alien to you but then there's noises that you you do recognize them for what they are and they're, they're not 
they don't sound natural, things like dragging, things like vibrating. Just looking at this again. This stuff is gold. This is why I do Ghost Dimension Flying Solo and Ghost Dimension. You can't write it. You just don't know. I mean, look, right? I'm trying to explain this happening. What is it? The door went. The REM pod went. A rattle over here. The REM pod went. These things are all linked. Everything's linking. And I think it, it's, it's down to the items here. And this building itself being so old. And people have died here. And I think that this is very haunted. see the rim there. So far it hasn't gone off. Anybody there? Can you come and stand in front of me if you are? Wow, there we go. Look at that. Can you wave? Can you raise your right arm? Look at that. I asked for it to raise its right arm and it did and now it's having a jig. Raise your right arm again. Please. Holy shit, more noise from down there. More noise from the area where we've got it tracked. Looks like it's doing something from river dance. The activity was increasing, and both Paul and I believed it to be connected to the items that had been brought here. So we joined up to complete a dual vigil and investigate the Bible and haunted room. Paul, it stinks in here. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> We've come into the um, main like waiting area, haven't yeah, we? Of this room. Do we, there's a, a book over there which you can see uh, on the camera now, and it's the Bible. And we've decided to put it on a lock off camera, we've put some equipment next to it. Yeah. I'll just check the equipment now, Paul, see if there's anything happening on there. No, I'm just gonna move it onto it, yeah? Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna put it on. See, that's what <laughs> Because I wanna make sure it's in full view if anything happens. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what's weird, Paul. Right. As I put my hand in there to touch it, mm. yeah, very hot. Mm. My hand is very, very hot. And maybe that's some energy coming off the uh, off the book. We don't know, but the camera's also got a bit weird. Oh, that's uh, upstairs. It was a uh, can hear a noise. We've got some, we've got all got some rem pods. Yeah, put a couple of rems out, and in the cabinet is uh, a periscope and a trigonometer. So. That's going to be measuring. This is a static build-up. I'm not happy about that being on the Bible, so I'll just have to leave that here because I don't want any possessed items coming back with me. Well, you never know, boy. We could own the first possessed paranormal piece of equipment. Yeah. You know, and we could take it to locations, and at least we know we've got the ghost wheels. Yeah, are you taking it home then? Um, let's give it to Jane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She won't mind, she's hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> so, Let's call that, Paul. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some stuff to happen here. Yeah. Is anyone here? Can you come and communicate to myself and Paul? We are here to communicate with you. That's outside. Yeah. Should we go over it? Well, we'll leave that there. Should we mm. just pop into this haunted room because I'm drawn to it, Paul? Yeah. And I feel. Wow. I mean, this is pitch black now, yeah? Yeah, this makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't it smell it, you know? It's, yeah, I thought that before, I don't know. That smells. Certainly not lavender. No, it's, it's very musty, isn't it? And it shouldn't, you know what the thing is, it's a set as well, it's a set, it yeah. shouldn't smell like that, it shouldn't no, it's be. purpose built for what it's here for, but now it's got a really weird sort of uh, odour to it, hasn't it? Yeah, and you know what? It feels weird in here now. Mm. It doesn't feel normal. 
know, it's, had, it's had a weird feeling all the time and I don't know whether it's um, I don't know whether it's because it's it was a voice I heard that it was a female yeah crying it sounded like it like, or laughing yeah like, or laughing it was like um or something weeping yeah. or something I heard that I don't know where it came from though should we go and see if we can get this book yeah. to uh, this Bible? Should we say? Now we're not going to be disrespectful in any way, but we definitely want something to to happen, don't we, Paul? Preferably. So <coughs> we're here. We're we're not going to touch it because after what's happened to us on previous investigations, we just, we're not just, naming any there. Yeah, we? we're not naming it, are we? But what's happened at Pendle Hill? <laughs> <laughs> is it the witches um, ruined the car? And this item here is um, well connected to witches, isn't it, Paul? Yeah, Salem. Uh, apparently, it was used during the Salem witch trials and then went on to be uh, prominent in the Amityville haunting. So, it's got the history. Has it got anything with it? Certainly, enough bad stories that have gone with it, and I don't really want to push it to find out. I know. Uh, well, it's not yet set in the the meat is off, but I feel the reason it's not doing that, Paul, is because it's following us around the energy. And maybe it's not that. No. Maybe it's the radio in there. Could be. be or if there was something with that, it's now out. There's no electric inside of this, we do know that. However, watch what happens when we put the uh, REM pod over. Ready? I'll just reset that so that. No, it wasn't us. Right, ready? We'll stand back. Watch. Look at that. That should not be going off. No. no. Do it, having done the bass lines, there's, uh, there's nothing. There's a, a picture on the wall there, which I'll show you, and that's generating a light, but the bass line with the, uh, the uh, Gauss meter before didn't register anything this far away from it. So that shouldn't be getting set off by anything. And it's erratic. Mm. It's erratic, Paul. It is. So it's not a constant power surge. No. So we know that it isn't a constant power surge. Maybe it's related to that book. Maybe it's the book setting yeah. the device off, Paul. So. <clears throat> if, you, if, it, if it's a spirit, let's ask it. Turn it off. In five, four, three, two, one. For a split second. A little blip. Mm -hmm. little blip for a split second. Do it again. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. And we're going to move it away mm -hmm. just because we know that there's something there. Yeah. And we, you know, it'll just be beeping all the way. I'm going to put it here. So that's now on the uh, chair there, isn't it, Paul? It is. And so another one just there, and so far that hasn't come off. <clears throat> if there's anything here that's attached to that Bible, let us know. To somebody that was present at the, the witch trials of Salem, were you accused of witchcraft? Let's leave the equipment there and go in. I feel drawn in here. I feel the energy has focused itself in here because it's so dark, it's a haunted house, mm. and there's so many people getting scared in here. It wouldn't surprise me that people are experiencing these paranormal things in here mm. and the paranormal activity is staying here. Yeah. It's just attracted to the, to the fear. Well, I was, I was just going to say, you look at how emotions work, you know, love and hate, fear and excitement, and fear is a very powerful emotion, so there's probably that much fear that's been generated in here, there's probably a residual. Uh, that was on the wall at the back. Yeah. That was definitely... Uh, I'm going to go over it. Well, okay. You do that again. If I knock, can you knock back?
That was gentle, that, Paul. It was. <coughs> there was another one, then. Okay, myself and Paul, paranormal investigators, we want to know, are you, are you the demon that, or the poltergeist that maybe, well, maybe you are a poltergeist, maybe you're not, maybe you're just a person, are you, are you here with us now? Give us a sign. I'm sorry, that radio, <coughs> that radio's had a lot of activity tonight with the um, REM. Yeah. Is this Bill? That's a radio. Yeah. yeah. Is this you, Bill? Can you not speak anymore? Can you not use your voice? Are you catching that? Yeah. yeah. You got in, nothing, is any orbs coming from it? Really? I've not seen anything so far. Come on, Bill, if this is you. I've already had it. You hear that again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like something's scratching on the top of it or something. It's weird. Yeah, I'm wondering does the top lift up? Does it? Yeah. No way. Yeah, that's the, that's the old radio bro. The old radio. Record deck. Come on Bill, if this is you. I've already had a chat with you tonight. Make a big noise for us in here. Big noise. Make it... Yeah, that was weird. That was wasn't on that clock, was it? There. I don't know. You see the clock somewhere. Yeah. I the clock I heard there. Something off that before as well. Yeah, I sounded a bit deeper than that. I don't think. Are you, are you tapping on glass? It sounded more like wood. That sounded a bit more like it. You see, even though. That's got the documented history. You don't know where these other items have come from. No, and they... No. Something could have come in with those. This yeah. is one of the uh, yeah. strangest yeah. investigations we've yeah. ever done, Paul. It's really... It's, it's almost weird. like doing a, a museum of haunted artefacts, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we know of two definites, potentially three with the rocking chair, but then the other items, where have they come from? Yeah. What history have they got? God knows. Uh, we appreciate what you're doing, and if you want to be heard, you need to let us know now. You need to do something right now. Big, big, no, I can't see what I'm leaning. A big... It's on wheels, don't It's on wheels, <laughs> whoop! Yeah. Do your Del Boy impression. A big, big noise, so we can all hear it. Big one, bang on the roof, or bang on the floor, or do something so we can all hear it. There you go. Up there. Did you get it there? I thought it was over there. It's hard to tell. Do it again. That's something moving, Paul. Yeah. That's something moving. Dragged. That was something moving. That was something moving. It wasn't that rocking chair, was it? I don't know. No. Moving. No. It sounded like something dragged. That was... That oh, was good. It was really good. If that was you, well done, well, thank you. What else have you got for us? I thought so. Oh, it's the reflection behind, isn't it? I heard that though. What the hell was that? That was at the back. Someone fucking growled. Pull, pull! Look, look, come here, quick! We hide! Oh shit, what the freaking hell is that? Moving. Oh my god, it's moving. No way. Freaking hell. I've asked for that to happen. Is it still moving? Oh, it never happens when you're looking at it direct, does it? It was moving, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. Oh, I've just got a light anomaly going up from it. So we've got an orb and the rocking chair moving. And another one. Really? Two have just shot up behind it. So that's validation, Paul. Something was there. Something was there. That's one of the claims here that the chairs moved. Now we we got distracted, pulled over here, and then bang. Yeah, that's that's how it works. You get pulled to one area away from where something's going to happen, and then it happens. It's just it's 
typical distraction technique. What amazing activity. Yeah, I want to know what it was that growled. Someone growled over here. Someone did growl, didn't it? What was that then? Do you know, I'm just panning just to see, because it's hard to see. I mean, this here is, is believed to swing on its own as well, so... What was that? I don't know. Did you hear that? Yeah. There's nothing behind there, look. I just need to be on a bloody pivot, I can't move my head around fast enough. Yeah. It's okay. really good what you're doing, we do, we do appreciate it. Give us one more thing. Do something really big and impressive. Freaking shadow over at the door then. Never. Let me have a look. Out of this room. Well, that would explain why that thing happened, Paul. Yeah. And I just saw a shadow walk out of here, and there's nobody else here, let me show you. There's nothing, nobody. There you go. There's nobody. Where the hell did that go? Okay. So far, oh, man. I just don't think my nerves can take anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here quick. Yeah, okay. We could not believe what we had just witnessed. First a growl, and then the chair moved. We now split for our final visuals. So, I have come into part of Moviescape's uh, part where the, uh, well, empty bit, it's a bit derelict in here. Uh, this is the mill side of this building. Above me I can hear a moving, but I believe that might be something else in this mill. I'm going to show you around. I've actually physically attached a light on top of the camera because it's that dark in here. Um, I came in and I couldn't see my hand in front of the face and the infrared just purely died and wasn't powerful enough to... I heard a noise then. Like a sh uh, ch ching ch ching I'll show you around and show you what I've got and I also need to see myself. So, as you can see I've got a REM pod over here um, and this is at one side of the building and over at this side over here I've got another REM pod and I've got a K2 meter. I'm going to leave the K2 meter there. If anything comes near the K2 meter or the REM pod they'll start setting off and then hopefully there uh, something could happen. In this building it is really dark. There's no natural daylight there's no nothing. So, if anything does start to come in here and wants to communicate with me, I am going to not see it unless I see it on this camera. Um, but I'm definitely going to hear it and feel it. And I'm going to turn this brightness down a little bit just so I can see a little bit better because it's taking my night vision away. You can still see what's going on. Okay, so this is me in. Uh, movie escape room, the haunted room, and it is absolutely pitch black. I cannot see anything apart from what I can see through uh, the screen, and I have put out a periscope, a REM, a REM on the uh, haunted rocking chair, and a REM by the fireplace. There's also, just over there, is the radiogram from the Enfield Poltergeist case. So it's absolutely pitch black in here. Now, there's no special effects that are going to happen while I'm in here because everything has been deactivated, because that's not how we work. So I'm hoping whatever's going to happen, if anything, so I'm hoping whatever's in here is going to come and interact with the equipment I've got in here. Is there anybody here with me? Is Bill in here? There was a tap then. Now I'm calling out for Bill because if anybody knows the history on the Enfield Poltergeist case, Bill is the old man that used to uh, supposedly haunt uh, the family at um, Bill is the person that used to haunt. Bill is supposed to be what was haunting 
of the Enfield family, the family in Enfield, and his voice apparently was heard to come through that radiogram. So, shouting out for him just in case. You can see there's some IRs there because this room is camered up as well. For the experience of the players, I'm just going to move around a little bit. Is there anybody in here with me? That's a squeaky board. Can you let me know? Can you make a noise? Okay, is anybody here? Can you come uh, towards me and communicate with me? I've got a device here called a REM pod. If you go towards it, it'll light up and it'll make a buzzing noise just like that. Okay. Hello? Listen, listen then. There was a bang then. I can't see where it is. I'm going to be so careful walking around, but there was a bang. If you're here with me, I've got a meter on my hand called a K2 meter as well. If you uh, come near me with this meter, this will set off um, and it will flash different colored lights. I'll come and do a... Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was going off then. Look, look, look. It's three. Thank you. And you can see I'm right next to a wooden, uh, sorry, a metal beam here supporting this place and this is not electrified. Thank you so much. And I don't know why this is... Oh! Oh! There's somebody rolling above me, but there was a squeak in here. And this meter seems... I don't know, maybe this is charged, but this meter's going off near that. I'm going to move away just in case it is that. But I heard a squeak in there. Is anybody here? Gonna uh, move. Which one? I think I'll move that one. I'm just gonna put this rem so it's gonna go off like that. I'm gonna put it onto the radiogram. So I'll just try that. I'm gonna grab hold of the periscope. Okay, that REM just let out one beep. Is there somebody there? Just going to go towards it with the, uh, the periscope. Oh, there we go, there we go. Who's that? Is that Bill? Make it beep if that's Bill. Okay, so that's uh, that's going off for some reason. Oh, make it light up. That's really good. Is this Bill? Have you come with this radiogram from Enfield? Do you remember Janet? Come on, light it all the way up. That was weird. There's a this box is on. And I don't think I was close enough to that. Seems to be a lot going on in here now. The uh, that box is on wheels, and I just heard it move. Yes, it's one of the darkest investigations I've ever done in a long time. What the hell? I'm sorry. We would have heard that on camera. Listen. Like something did that on this. I'm just gonna check. Nothing there. Oh jeez. God almighty.
got now. God knows what that was. What's this? Oh my god. Look, look, look. I panned that around as fast as I could, but look. That is moving. Let's squeeze back through here. Move that again now. I saw that move. Move that again. Do it for me on camera. Jesus Christ, something is not right in this mill. That was weird. One of the weirdest experiences I've had. There's no way. Hang on a minute. I'm going to have to check that back. No, no, I'm, I'm sure that was already like that. I think it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. weird. That was something in this room joining us. Paul, what an amazing investigation this has been so far. Yeah. Not only is this a haunted attraction, it's also a haunted building. And this is a haunted house and activity is happening here. Yeah. Constant. So the guests that come here and, and investigate uh, this room and try and solve the puzzles in here, not only are meeting the activity staged and set up, but they're also um, experiencing real paranormal activity. Now here's the killer. How fantastic is that? You don't know what's real and what's not real. Absolutely, it keeps you on your toes. You know, you, you think that what you've just experienced is part of the game. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. The items that are here, some of them are haunted. They've got the, the reputation for it. So what are they bringing to it as well? Yep. So you're just bombarded with the potential for activity of one type or another. Well, you know what? For me, fantastic place. Oh yeah. And I, you know, this mill itself also needs further investigation. I'm glad you said that because that was what I was going to say. That you know, we never really do it enough justice. There's more. There's more floors, more areas. We've got to come back. Got to come back. Yeah. Well, you know what? We will. Good. For Christmas, Dad. Absolutely. So, from all of us at Ghost Dimension, flying solo. Thank you for watching and good night.